this is my first recorded video. I'm Seb. I've been playing Lineage Reborn for uh, 50 days now. This is my like some sort of uh, annual video for the new starters who are considering either it's too late, too early, or it's a good time to join in and jump to the server. Within this video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you uh, how the server looks. How people are interacting with each other and uh, I don't know just look around the city and uh, see how the population is so first things first yeah I'm checking the heroes and you can see it, it this is the second month of the server we have two months heroes all right so next what we're doing we're gonna check through the shops to see if uh, prices are okay for new starter so I'm not going to go very deep into those prices. I just want to give you a brief overlook and just the look and the feel of the server. For example, if the server is too old, you don't really see too much of people running around. And if the server is really advanced, you don't really see those basic shops, for example, where they would be buying coins and Interlude Chronicle or even the Moonstone Shards and other stuff that you can see within the video. Opening up the party matching, so you can see according to the level how much of the people are willing to party. And yeah, it, it's quite a lot. All right, let's head to the main city. Let's see what's happening there. Usually that you can notice is there's a lot of people. In some occasions you can see even the buffers selling buffs for recommendations here. And one of the things that I'm pretty sure you know already, reborn servers do not allow dual boxing. Therefore, if you want to have a buffer, you either part with a buffer, you ask for buffs, you purchase buffs, you use clan hall buffs, or just straight up use potions. Otherwise, you don't have any sort of buffs and it's not too rare to see the people um, going through the zones without the buffs or she's using simple haste or magic haste potions and expecting herbs to drop. And even those herbs can't really be too reliable as they only last for two minutes and it's not too often that you get uh, mana or HP recovery herbs. Just a slight reminder for those who are playing from the higher chronicles, even though the herbs, herbs do exist here, the herbs do not provide vitality and the server has no vitality so the service has limited rates it's fixed the only way that you can boost the rates would be through voting i personally have purchased the vip recently that kind of skips the voting part for me the vip and the server cost i think around five euros if if you don't want to do that you can just simply every 12 hours just uh, vote for the server and you will receive the the double xp and another thing that it's quite fun and annoying at the same time in the cities you can notice that all of the dwarves are separated and divided in in some small areas and that's the thing that you can't really place shops next to each other very close as there has to be some sort of area to the dwarf so that his uh, title of his uh, selling or purchasing goods would be visible and this server does not have any sort of uh, searching for the item so the only way for you to find the item you need to actually search for the item using action bar and then the, the shops will appear according to the name that you placed in so that's the only way you can see i'm running through all of the city and different areas are covered of the shops even the luxury shop afterwards i'm going to the torin just gonna fast forward to it and you can see that it's it's crowded it's everywhere so if you have the money you can buy the stuff if you don't have it well tough luck you need to farm so next up what we're gonna do we're gonna head back to the gatekeeper and let's circle back to the more of the newbie friendly towns so first off dion just gonna go through the shops and uh, if you paid close attention to the shops previously you can see that the prices in the main town and the newbie towns are different 
more or less, I'm just showing you the general view. Next up we have Gludio. Well, I'm not too sure why Gludio in Reborn server is not, not so crowded. I know from the other servers, Gludio is like the main city of all of the traders that are lobbies. But here it's not. And the fun thing, during the recording of this video, Zariha did drop. And how friendly is the server for Nubis? You can even notice that it dropped in Cemetery region. So it's not somewhere in, in the high level areas. So people are farming. Next up we see the Gluden village. And let's go to the Talking Island village. So we could see what's happening at the actual Nubi town. So let's go there. I know that we spoke about going through the cities and seeing the population, but I think let's go and see a little bit extra. Let's go to the farm areas. Well, from the video itself, you can see that there is people in the server. There are quite a few people in the low areas, but one of the things that we can see and check if there's any sort of people farming at low level areas, because that is the indication and actual indicator that low level people do exist in the server, which is almost, well, two months old. All right, now let's try what's happening within Elven Ruins. Can we find people there? During the time of recording, I can tell it was the weekend, the very start of the day, and I was only lucky to find people at the very start of Elven Ruins. The video shows that uh, I did go deeper to the video. You will see the fast forward and I did not see any any of the newbies there, but uh, one of the things that uh, I think I can tell in comparison when the server opened up and the server that uh, that is up and running right now is if you don't have competition to catch up with people or compete uh, in low level areas, it's actually beneficial to you to catch up faster. The economy is stable. You can just if you spoil the materials, if you drop the materials, you can sell them for actually big price and it's cheaper and good actually for you to make money. It's not something too, too crazy to make money out of uh, selling materials because it's, it's two types of uh, making money in the server. Either you craft it by yourself or you uh, spoil the materials and you keep it. But one way or another, you still need the money. So it's, it's good for newbies. Now, thinking about the next area, this is more like a close to 40 area, it's the ant nest. Uh, this is, well, mostly one of the most popular areas within all of the ser servers all across. So I presume if this would be the area that contains no people, that would be like absolute red flag. As for mages, for fighters, for archers, for everyone who once level up fast to level 40, either with academy buffs or without them, Ant Nest is the best spot to level. It has the top XP if you're not focusing on the money, if you already have the money or you know that the academy is gonna pay you. I'm gonna tell you about the academy afterwards. Uh, Ant Nest is the spot for you to go. Even after going through this video, I, I was asked to invite the person to academy. And <laughs> yeah, there's the people are speaking with each other. If they see a new person or or someone, there's two types of, of people as always. Either they're gonna fight you because you just entered their area, or just gonna say hi and try to communicate with you or party. Even though the server is a low rate, uh, yes, if you do die, you lose the XP. But since the server has its time and you are not really rushing too much everywhere, you have time to PvP, you have time to regain the XP that you lost. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite fun. You need to take this, this server without, uh, without no lifing too much. 
if we go to the um, hot springs area I wanted to show if uh, someone is farming at hot springs at this spot this is the very hot spot this is this spot is always taken like, it doesn't matter if it's siege if it's weekend it's early in the morning this spot is always taken someone is farming there I didn't go too deep into the whole spot and the whole hot springs as I don't think that's that's actually necessary and just uh, by random thought hmm, never actually teleported to the sheets nest wanted to see if raid is up you can see the raid boss is, is down it's taken and uh, obviously as the server is uh, almost two years old two sorry two months old um, and nest is crowded all day every day people are pvping for the spots people are communicating with each other if uh, when they are leaving the spots when they are changing the spots party matching is a really huge deal in this server for example if you are missing some sort of a party member or party member decides to hey i'm gonna leave i'm gonna head to, to sleep or i have stuff to do uh, it's quite a men mentality in the server where they can just say I'm, i want to leave and please find a replacement they're gonna find the replacement uh, kick you out and invite the new person so that party don't have to be disrupted or everything has to go to the absolute end if one of the members leave so that's a good thing now going to volley of saints area personally i didn't really see any sort of uh, crowd within the server just one of the unique things at this very server at the very end it's usually party who farms yeah it's quite often to find mages here archers sometimes spoilers scattered across the area it's because of the recipes uh, talum gloves it's one of the rarest recipes and one of the most demanded uh, recipes that people try to get most often the cps are farming there here yeah so uh, with that said i think it's time for us to uh, wrap up the video share what I can to share and see if uh, if there's any sort of additional thing that I can add to already shared material with you all right so final thoughts and sweet up answer is it too late to start the answer is no it's not too late to start if you had a break and you want to return it's a good time as well economy is stable there's a lot of people a lot of uh, places to go to there's less of the competition up till i believe level 60 as majority of people are around uh, 65 70 so if you are chasing that level you're gonna have an easier time uh, farming there's gonna be a lot of availability for you to find it available spots within that zone so you're gonna catch up faster you're gonna gear up faster because there's available items that you can buy uh, from the shops and the prices are normal previously the prices for materials was extremely high same as for the parts and recipes now everything's more or less stable if you're crazy you can even like uh over enchant weapons sell them i know some people are doing that and making some some nice profit if you're considering either join this server 3 xp or 1 xp server and you're not sure on which server you should start i would def definitely encourage you to start on 3x server as after i believe uh, five months 3 xp server gonna be merged into 1 xp server and afterwards all of the progress that was made on 3 xp server which is made just for single purpose for new people to catch up uh, people will be merged into 1x server rates will be changed to 1 xp and it's gonna be even bigger community than that already exists one of the things that's uh, that's quite good about Reborn, and and this is not something that needs to be left out, is the community. 
majority of the community people that you can see it's from various countries uh, we have Greeks Estonians Lithuanians we have uh, Brazil Greek people people from US people from Russia uh, we have all sorts of people uh, and the people are playing chill more or less all of the people that was uh, playing as a hardcore as most often people do uh, they already left the server and if you circle back to the very beginning of the video you can see there's a hero board and all heroes are within one clan so that's the very same reason that the people who know life and was eager to take the hero on the very first month and then keep it on the second month they did their part they did the speed run they achieved their goal and they left the server because there's no 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 more of a purpose for them to stay on as there's no competition as they think where in reality there is just majority of people are catching up people have jobs they don't want to invest like 15 hours a day just for one single game so if you have a couple of hours a day that you can spend for the game or at least i don't know four or five hours a week that's more than enough you can catch up and stay within the clan you can stay active within the community and you can see the progress of your character and one of the things additionally i know that i'm saying it's quite often but one of the good things is that people that you meet XPing in your areas is most likely going to remain over the period where you level up so for example i'm leveling up as a mage i encountered countless of archers and if i speed up my leveling process i go to party i start seeing the very same people that i started leveling with or saw as a competitor at earlier levels because it's not like you have a different amount of people circling all around your level as you get on higher xp servers it's not that so as a bonus i know that all of the new starters needs gear needs money and needs academy so in this video description there's gonna be several links first link is gonna be for your account creation with this account creation link you can see the specified bonuses that you're gonna get if you register additionally um, to all of the players who reach level 20 I'm gonna give out 200k this is enough to get a newbie set and I will be placing a Academy discord link in this video description so that if you wish to join the Academy as per this day of recording Academy reward is 500k so you're gonna hit level 20 you're gonna get 200k from me and once you reach level 40 you finish academy you're gonna get additional 500k from academy i hope that helps if, uh, if this video helped uh, let me know that's about it press uh, like share this with the other guys thanks for watching and bye bye